Hello and welcome to the unofficial supplementary materials for the course The Music of the Beatles given by Professor John Kovacs from the University of Rochester. On this first week, Professor Kovac will talk about the recommended books that he finds very interesting to follow his class. And what I'm doing here is what I'm doing here is gathering the links about where you can find these books, giving a bit more information about these books so you can try to find them on your local library or your university library, and also a bit more material and information about these books. So here you find the link to the official Coursera, the Music of the Beatles course given by Professor John Kovacs from the University of Rochester. Here is a, a trailer with the information about this course and we start with the recommended books. Here you find the link to the class on Coursera where Professor Kovacs will talk about the recommended books. The first book we are going to talk about is the Beatles songs. Here we have the links for the Amazon store. If you are in the European Union, you can check it out. If you are in the United States, there is also a link there. And the Beatles songs is a book that will give details from um, the recordings. So who played which instruments and sang what harmonies how each song fared on the charts and how other musicians and critics felt about it. It is chronologically arranged by the UK release date and it lays down dates, places, participants and many different facts about these Beatles recordings. Then we move to the series The Beatles as Musicians and we have this first book The Beatles as Musicians The Query Man Through Rubber Soul. I only found a link to the European Union web shop and this is a book that will talk about the composition, performance, recordings, and some histories from the beginnings in 1956 through 1965. The sequence of this book is the Beatles as musicians from Revolver through the anthology. And now we have links for both European Union and United States. And this follows the same principle as the previous book. And this book is a comprehensive chronological study of every aspect of the Fab Four's musical life, including examinations of composition, performance practice, recording, and the historical context during their period from 66. You can have a taste of um, this book here, just a few pages, but you can see the style and you can decide if it's interesting for you or not. We move to the Beatles. All These Years, the Volume 1, Tune In. We also have the links to the European Union and the United States. And this book takes the Beatles from before their childhoods through the final hour of 62. We have here a Wikipedia page about this book. And this book was written by the historian Mark Lewison, based on research that he's continued to gather since the 80s. Mark Lewison also wrote other Beatles reference books. And one we are going to talk about a little bit later, which is the Complete Beatles Recording Sessions. We reach the Complete Beatles Recording Sessions, and this book is filled with over 350 color and black and white photographs and illustrations, including rare photos by Linda McCartney, albums, leaf roughs, memos, contracts, press release, and much more. And this book is written in the form of a diary, documenting each day from 62 through 1970 that the Beatles spend in a recording session. We move on to the recording the Beatles, the studio equipment and techniques used to create their classic albums. And this book is very, very difficult to find. It exists some um, links in Amazon, but it's currently unavailable on the EU website and you find it for $1,290 at the M United States. Amazon. So this book uh, takes a detailed look at every piece of studio gear used, full explanation of the effects and recording processes, and an inside look at how specific songs were recorded. We also have here a Wikipedia page about this book, and this book examines every piece of recording equipment used at the AB Road Studios during the Beatles sessions, including microphones, output gear, mixing consoles, speakers, tape machines, everything examined in detail. So this seems to be a very, very interesting book, but as it seems, it's um, extremely difficult to find. 
we move on to the Beatles at the BBC and here we have links to both the EU and the United States and in this book the author delves into the BBC television and radio archives there are also rare photos both on stage and off stage some documents and it's the Beatles the BBC archives then we move to the Beatles gear all the Fab Four instruments from stage to studio so this is the ultimate guide to all the gear used by the Beatles detailing exactly which guitars, drums, amplifiers and keyboards the Fab Four embraced throughout their brief but revolutionary career and it provides insights into the Beatles history and a lot of stories finally we reach the Beatles anthology so you can find here in the Sherman website 12 euros used you can also find it on the United States Amazon and there is also a Wikipedia page about this Beatles anthology and this book is billed as the only autobiography of the Beatles and features more than 1,200 rare photos and color illustrations many of the interviews quoted are from um, those featuring the documentary films but also there are additional interviews that were conducted especially for this book so that's it here are the links to all the books that professor Kovac recommends for his course you can try to find it in your local library you can buy them and i highly recommend that you watch professor Kovac first week and i'll see you another time